what's up with our wife? She's been throwing up every morning for the past few days now. Since when do we have a wife? Don't you remember? We got married during one of our crazy adventures. Ugh, we should really stop going to Vegas. Oh, that day was so romantic, so filled with love and... Disease! What? Maybe our wife has a terminal disease and she'll be dead in a week! Ha <laughs> <coughs> ha! Oh, I feel awful. Maybe we should go to the hospital, girls. Hmm, is anyone else feeling under the weather? I am. Oh no, not you, uterus. Don't tell me we have an STD. That dumb husband of ours can't do anything right. STD? Oh heavens, I hope not. But we did miss our period a few days ago. Nausea? Missed period? Could it be? What's on your mind, brain? Well, this is only a hypothesis, but I think we're... Pregnant! I knew it! Pregnant? Oh, isn't that the sweetest thing? Huh! I didn't know that bum could pull it off! Oh, I wonder if it's a boy or a girl! Oh no, girls, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle that. I... Calm down, uterus. I'm going to call the doctor to help us out, alright? Oh, okay. Uh, need someone to pull your hair back? Doctor, we're pregnant. Oh, is that what it is? I thought your husband cooked for you again. Hard, har har, doctor. This is no laughing matter. I mean, look at me. Oof, yeah. Eight weeks of that is not going to be pretty at all. Eight weeks? Yup, and that's the good news. Pregnancies typically last 40 weeks, and you only have to be nauseous for eight of them. Aren't you relieved? Not at all! <coughs> hey, Doc! Is our wife going to be okay? Is that? Yeah, his human body. Doctor, could you please relay the news to the man of the house? Fine. Give it to us straight, Doctor. Do we have to re-download Tinder or... What? No, your wife's fine. And what the heck is with all the vomit? We're going to have to clean the sink later after all. That's what you're upset about? Never mind that. What's wrong with her? She's pregnant. What? Hooray! We got a little bun in the oven! That's actually great news. Uh, so, what do we do now, Doc? Glad you asked. The father-to-be is actually critical in pregnancies. Ooh, tell us more! Your job is to support your wife and baby throughout the whole 40 weeks and beyond. Be as knowledgeable about pregnancy as you can. Accompany her during her regular checkups. Be her emotional support. And be there for her and the baby during delivery. Uh, that doesn't sound like we're going to be main characters in this episode. Exactly! Just wait in the wings for now. Your wife will call you when you're needed. Oh, unbelievable! Relegated to the B-plot! I am telling you, Liver, that's not how that works. What's all the hubbub? Oh, Doctor, you're back. How'd the hubby take the news? He's, uh, super happy and, uh... Sad he's not the main character for once. Uh-huh. Ugh! Remind us again why we married that slacker? He did become filthy rich after those Mr. Beast challenges. Don't be gold diggers, kidneys. Anyway, I was just explaining that we're pregnant because we kiss our hubby too much. It was all that saliva, I tell you. Uh, you're super off. You see, pregnancy happens when a woman's eggs come into contact with a man's sperm. Ew! That sounds nasty! Oh my, did it hurt, uterus? Actually, no, I didn't even notice something was up until we missed our period. Not the most attentive, are ya? To be fair, there are hundreds of eggs, and they're all stored in the ovaries located on my sides. So when one lone egg gets fertilized, it's practically unnoticeable. But there are other ways to get pregnant, aren't there, doctor? Ooh, ooh, I've heard about this. It's when your husband is a robot, right? Close, but not quite. There is such a thing called assisted reproductive technology. Oh, the robot husband's name is Art. How fetching. Again, not a robot. It's when your doctor places sperm directly into your uterus using a catheter, or combines the egg and the sperm in a lab. So men aren't that difficult to replace after all. Girls, focus. This pregnancy is going to be a lot of hard work, so we all need to pull it together. Got it? Got, Got it. it! And we're especially counting on you, uterus. You're the one who's actually going to carry the baby after all. Uh, okay. 
see. Those last few weeks weren't so bad, right, Stomach? Yeah, they were. That's why I'm making up for it by eating as much pizza as I can. But garlic and cheese give us bad breath. Ugh, yuck. I don't know why, but I've been really craving this flavor combination. Hey, Brain, tell our hubby to order some more. No problemo. Hey, Doctor, can you tell? You know, you can do it yourself by controlling the body's mouth, right, Brain? Oh, right. <clears throat> Hey, husband! Get me some more pizzas, will ya? Got it! Several boxes of the Halitosis Special coming right up! <laughs> Halitosis Special. That cracks me up. Huh? Who the heck said that? Oh, sorry. I forgot I haven't properly introduced myself yet. I'm Placenta. She's attached to you, uterus! You're not a tumor, are you? Our hubby told us all about what he went through. Kill the Placenta! Girls, girls, I don't think she's a tumor. Look, she's attached to our baby. Are you sucking the life out of our baby? Stop her! Kill the placenta! Whoa, whoa, we must have gotten off on the wrong foot here. I am not a tumor, and I'm not here to cause any harm. I actually came with the baby. Came with the... Have you been with us during the whole pregnancy so far? Actually, yeah. I wasn't originally part of this human body, and started out as just some tiny cells when the fetus first appeared. I've been growing inside you ever since, uterus. And now look at me, a full-fledged fetal maternal organ. Oh, wow. I've been so preoccupied with the baby and everything else that I didn't realize that there was literally another life growing inside me. Yes, ma'am. And I'm very grateful to be here. Aw, she's sweet. I'm glad to have another organ here with us. But why didn't you speak up until now? Well, I was mute during the first trimester since I was still developing. Then, over the past few days, I decided to finally talk to you all because you seem so nice and uh, funny. She's so precious. What exactly are your primary functions, huh? What do you do? Oh, I connect the mother to the fetus. This allows me to provide it with oxygen and nutrients, remove harmful waste and carbon dioxide from it, and produce hormones that help it grow. Fascinating! So you're essentially keeping our baby nice and healthy while supporting the rest of the human body. Wow, that's a really important job. Glad to have you aboard, Placenta. I... I don't know about this. Huh? What's wrong, uterus? I... I don't know, I... Don't worry, you can tell us anything. All right. I'm afraid. Terrified, actually. Of what? Of everything. Moving so fast. We were single just a few years ago, and now we got married, and then suddenly... Pregnant? And now there's even this... Uh, no offense. Placenta? I'm sorry. Did I do something bad? What? No, you didn't. I... It's just... What if we're bad? Bad how? I don't know the first thing about raising a child. What if I'm a bad mother? I mean, Oregon. I mean, whatever. Oh, Miss Uterus, I won't ever let that happen. You can count on me. Aren't you afraid? Honestly, no. You girls all seem to have it together after all. You're not alone in this, Uterus. Thanks, heart. What the heck was that? Mayday, mayday, the kid's attacking us. Ah, being a dad is actually super chill, isn't it, buddies? Subscribe!